Hello everybody and thanks for watching this video. Probably you watching this video because you're gonna have a hiring event at Apple. You're curious about a hiring event at Apple or you're just watching this because you came at this video this night because you have to make homework and everything. Okay, never mind. My name is Dylan. Uh, I'm from Holland. I'm living in Germany in Cologne. Um, I'm making this video in English because then everyone will understand this and in this video I will share my experience at my Apple's hiring event. So don't judge me on my English, it's not perfect but I will try. So yesterday uh, I had my Apple hiring event in Cologne. Uh, there is a new Apple store here in Cologne. I really want to work here in that new Apple store because yeah that's cool. <laughs> but let me take you to the beginning first because two weeks ago I got an interview with Apple but not a normal interview but an interview uh, at FaceTime. So I was uh, uh, so I made an appointment uh, at 12 o'clock and they called me two minutes uh, past 12 and they uh, there was a guy sitting uh, in front of his computer and uh, probably an iMac. <laughs> it was a really relaxed conversation what I had with this guy. It only takes 15 minutes or something and I just have to tell something about myself. And then he said, yeah, I like you, uh, you're a nice guy, so you're through this round and going to the next round. So <laughs> I was like, what uh, was that? It? it was only 15 minutes and it was so relaxed yeah I cannot explain it differently so I was really happy that I was going through uh, the next round and that was called the Apple hiring event and yeah, I was not really sure what I have to expect so I searched for YouTube videos like this one and that really helped me a lot to prepare myself for it because I can make myself really really uh, nervous for it um, and so I was that day, yesterday. But I watched a lot of videos um, from people I th think probably from America and it was something like that but it was a little bit different. So I will tell you this story what it's going to be in Germany. Maybe you are in Germany, maybe you want to go to Germany, maybe you're just interested how they do it in Germany. So this is why I'm telling you this story. I was pretty early because in one video someone said yeah be there really early because then you can already talk with the people from Apple with the other uh, uh, candidates candidates with the other people there and um, yeah then they see that you're a really social person and I think that's the most uh, important thing you have to be for a job at Apple also uh, also that's German sorry <laughs> So I was there uh, about an hour before and it was in a hotel so I asked at the reception uh, is there an Apple event here? He said yeah go uh, through there, there, stairs, blah blah blah. Uh, and then I was there and there was no one and there was no sign of Apple, there was nothing. And then a, a woman came by and I said uh, um, uh, pardon me do you know if there is an Apple event here? And he said, yeah, it's probably, when it's here, it's probably, you can see it on the screen here. And there was a screen and I was waiting for a, a sign where Apple was, but it wasn't coming. So I really panicked a little bit. I checked the location again and I wasn't the, in the right hotel. And then I asked so many people uh, uh, if I was in the right place. And then someone said, yeah, Apple is going to be here, but it's, uh, you have to wait here or something. So I was relaxed then, still nervous. Uh, and then slowly there are people coming and coming and I read or heard or saw in a video uh, that there are around 30 or 60 people and yeah like 10 minutes before or something there were only four boys including me <laughs> and then I thought oh that's not much but that doesn't say anything because not everyone is there for the same job so someone is an uh, uh, Apple expert or uh, Apple specialist and someone wants to be uh, an Apple creative or uh, a genius. So uh, if there are a lot of people, don't worry because everyone is there for uh, his own job. There were coming more and more people and in the end I think there are around 16 boys and two girls. <laughs> Only two girls. But it was uh, good to have some girls there. And then two people from Apple uh, came outside uh, and welcomed us uh, there and they took us into the room and it was an 
yeah, a small room. I saw in other videos that it was like a big room with a lot of tables and uh, uh, chairs, of course. Um, but here it was a little bit different because there were only um, chairs, so in a half circle, and we have to sit there. So I picked one on the uh, edge, and then of course the two men from Apple start applauding, so <laughs> we clap too. Um, you can see a lot of videos where a Apple, a Apple, <laughs> where Apple people applauding. Um, yeah, and that makes you feel a little bit uh, relaxed or something. I don't know that it's not so seriously. Of course, it's serious and of course it's important, but they are so relaxed and they want to be that you no, know, and they want that you are yourself and not so nervous and everything. So that really helps. And what I'm really hating is standing in front of a group to introduce myself. And not only standing, but also sitting yeah and that was the moment that the people from apple introduced themselves and said now it's time for you to introduce so i was already really nervous and then they said but we're not going to do it in a normal way um instead of standing here in front of the group to introduce yourself you're going to talk with your neighbor on your right on your left side and you introduce yourself to him or her so i thought oh yes that's good, that's not uh, scary at all. So I was talking with my neighbor and I was telling him that I was Dylan, blah, blah. And then he started uh, uh, repeating me. So you're Dylan, you're 24 years old, blah, 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 blah. And I thought, why is he doing that? So I asked him, why are you doing it? And then he said, yeah, probably we have to introduce uh, us in front of the group. So I have to introduce him and he, me. So I thought, oh no, I'm really bad with uh, uh, remembering things what people said or something. So he was telling about himself and uh, it was German and my German is not so great. And it was um, really loud because everyone was talking. So I didn't... Uh, hear everything he said and then uh, a girl came too late and uh, the people from Apple put her with us so then we have three instead of two uh, and then we have to talk with her too and then the time was over and then I thought oh my god I don't know a lot about him and I don't know a lot about her but they know a lot about me how I'm gonna do this and then in front of the group oh and then um, the Apple people said Normally, uh, this kind of thing starts with the people on the edge. So I was happy because I want to start first because then I already got it and then I cannot be so nervous. But this time they start in the middle and then go to the edge. So I was like, really, Apple, really? <laughs> and then people really make jokes and everything, tell a lot of things about the other people. And then I thought, I'm really screwed this already and then it was our turn and then I start and then I said something like yeah that's uh, this guy he's like this old he works at a company what I really don't know the name about because it's German and I cannot talk German so so good and then everybody left in a good way so I was like oh I can also be funny so yeah it was it was uh, really again really relaxed um, so I was happy that it was over but also happy that it went good and um, when everybody was finished the people from Apple start a uh, presentation about Apple and they ask questions uh, to us and that were questions about uh, how many Apple stores are there in the world um, uh, what do you know about the amount of people that are coming to um, the Apple stores like that kind of questions and I'm not sure if it's important to give the good answers but it's important to speak uh, but in your own way because <laughs> um, I was I'm a person who first listen to a group and then say what I think and I heard that you um, there are people who are not so, talking so much and there are people who are really talking all the time and that was really annoying me and makes me insecure because then I thought yeah of course they pick you because uh, I'm saying less less more 
but I went to the Apple event with the ID just be yourself, so I did it. I only listened and I said something when I want to say something, and I quest, uh, qu and I ask questions when I want to ask questions. And then we watched the video about Apple, and the first thing what I thought was, are the people in the video uh, actors, and are the people from Apple who standing here in front of me thinking the same way about working at Apple? Is it really so great? So. I asked that. The video was over, he asked the someone have questions and I asked the question and then the whole group was laughing and one of the Apple guys was really like, you're really asking if we like to work at Apple, so I think I just used the wrong words or something because I was really interesting, I didn't mean it wrong or something. And then I tried to ask it again and then the guy from Apple who was first having his hand in front of his face uh, was like, oh, that's really... That guy, that guy has balls to ask this. And then I said, yeah, <laughs> I have it. Um, so the presentation was over, a lot of people asked things, a lot of people just uh, listened. And then um, they made groups, groups of four or five people. And every group get uh, a paper and there was standing an ID for a company. With my group there was standing, you have uh, a hobby with uh, coffee beans and the coffee beans are fair trade beans or something and you want to make uh, a job from your hobby so how are you gonna make uh, a company from your beans and where you place it in a uh, club. And we get 10 minutes to talk with our group and after the 10 minutes, we have to give a presentation from two minutes to sell our company. And after the two minutes, two people can ask something on the group, but one person on the group. So that was really a challenge because 10 minutes is not a lot. And from my study, I know that when there is a time limit, people are panic. So we went out of the room and my team was like chickens. I mean, they all talked. Bye -bye. So I let them talk, 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 and then I said, okay, stop it, I have an ID, blah, 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 that's my ID, and then I said, yeah, we can com combine that ID with that ID, blah, 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 I said, okay, uh, but before the 10 minutes are over, which persons are going to give the presentation, because I think it's not uh, smart to have five people that give a presentation, only two and the other three do the questions, so that was a good ID, they said, and, uh, um, yeah, we, we said, yeah, okay, you two presentate, we three do the questions. And then, yeah, the ID was there. And then we went back in the room. And then a team start to give a presentation and they have uh, things written on, on, a, on, a, on paper. They had a name, they had, uh, they had so much more than we, we had only an ID. And then <laughs> we talked a little bit like, oh no, we need a name. And I said, because I'm creative and then I said okay we, we our name is coffee experience and then the last E from coffee is also the first E from experience they said oh my god that's a good name but it's not important I think the important thing is that you uh, uh, can do things in a time pressure so we were in front of the uh, class and uh, we gave a presentation we uh, they asked some questions and it was done and after that the people from Apple explained us that the morning was over and in the afternoon there are interviews but not with everyone. So for some people of the group it was uh, finished by now and for some people the interviews were in the afternoon. Um, so they sent us out of the room uh, for five minutes and then they asked us uh, with a group of four back into the room to tell if you're through the next round or not. Um, and I was in the first group of four and um, yeah because a lot I was a little bit insecure because there were a lot of people who I thought yeah they are so much better than me to uh, sell things in an Apple store or something um, but the first group and he said yeah you're uh, going through the next round and your conversations are from 12 to 1 o'clock and after 1 o'clock you're finished with today and some people have to wait till 4 o'clock and it was like half past 11 um, so I was really happy that it was so early um, 
and then like 12 people or something were going to the next round but the other six uh, have to go home it was over and then with some people I was really shocked because I thought what you ask so much questions in the beginning and you said so much smart things and you knew everything about Apple but you're not going to the next round so there it is it's not important that you know everything about Apple um, it's important to be yourself because they will see it when you're really yourself when you're authentic then then they will see who you really are and if you're fit in an Apple team or not so I was really happy that uh, I was all the time really myself and I was preparing myself for the job interviews um, there were uh, two more people from Apple coming and they split in two rooms and our group of four split also in two also uh, so that means I was with uh, one guy and talking with two guys from Apple and the other two were also talking with two guys from Apple and yeah here it's important to really um, tell who you are to really show the people from Apple who you are and why I want to work at Apple and here is the moment to be yourself because in this moment they will learn you they will learn who you are and I thought yeah I'm not sure what they're looking for so be yourself be maybe you're better for Apple than he is maybe we're both good for Apple I don't know so they ask me questions uh, tell something about yourself they have your resume uh, or resume resume I don't know uh, they have your uh, stuff on table that they can read about you and um, yeah I told about myself that I'm from Holland blah 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 and then he asked me uh, why you want to work for Apple and yeah I was talking like 20 minutes and then we passed the questions to the other guy and then we can ask questions to the Apple people um, but they told so many things and that was really all I want to know all the questions what I have prepared was uh, what they told me so that's what I told <laughs> and then they left and then uh, yeah uh, it was over and then we changed rooms and that was not what I expecting um, so I talked to two new Apple people uh, they asked questions like name a situation um, where you handled and you had regret of it and also a situation where you was proud how you handled it and name a situation customers were not so nice and how did you react uh, like that kind of question so they really want to know how you're gonna act in an Apple store there was one problem with me I already have a project in two weeks uh, starting um, and I was like yeah if I get a job with Apple I'm not doing that project because that project is only uh, three months and then it's over again and maybe I get a new project but that's not sure yet uh, already um, and I was not sure if I uh, should tell that to them or not because if I tell I already have another job then I don't get a job with Apple that was my thinking and then the guy from Apple told me a story I don't know how it come uh, that he was working at the television too and he had a project till next year or a half year or something uh, and then Apple called him that they have a job for him and then he said yeah I'm sorry I'm really uh, loyal to um, the company where I worked for or work for um, so I can only start at that that day and then Apple said yeah of course that's not a problem they don't expect that you do nothing and wait till Apple call and that was the moment that I could tell that I already have a project for three months and they said if you uh, hired right now or this week um, there's probably not a job uh, right now because it um, so it can take a couple of weeks but also a couple of months before you get a job so it's really not a problem and when they call just tell it and it will not be a problem so the only thing I want to say about an Apple hiring event is be yourself be honest because they know when you lie and you're not comfortable com comfortable to when you're lying and they also said when you're not getting a job it's not because of your qualities 
okay, maybe they don't say it, but when you don't get a job, of course, it can be your qualities. But most of the time, it's not uh, the right moment for you to get a job at the Apple Store. Or they don't see how you get fit in the team right now. But there are also a lot of examples from people um, who uh, tried to get a job at Apple, don't get it, tried another year and got a job at Apple and worked there now for years. So when you gotta know, it's not that you're bad, but it's right now not the good moment for you. So I'm hearing something from Apple uh, between uh, yesterday and tomorrow. They said in 48 hours you will hear something. And I'm really nervous all the time when my phone is going and there is a German number, what I don't know, that it's Apple. I got already two phones and that's not happening a lot here. But I'm really curious if I got the job or not. Uh, I really, really hope so because, man, I like Apple so much. Um, but when not, I will try it again. But I hope this video will help you to prepare on your hiring event. And guys, what my friend always is saying, be yourself and the world will love you. Bye.